All right, thanks for watching and let's get into the rhythm with some logarithms. Um, welcome to this brief overview of logarithms where, where I'll show you the main properties and also I'll do a fun algebra exercise at the end. So let's start for instance with log base 10. Log base 10 always answers the question 10 to the what is whatever you want to find. So for instance, log to base 10 of x means 10 to the what is x. So let me illustrate this with some examples, then it'll be a bit clearer. For instance, what is log base 10 of 100? Well, the question is 10 to the what is 100? Well, notice 100 is 10 squared. So in fact, log base 10 of 100 is 2. Or again, similarly, what is log base 10 of 1,000? Well, 1,000 is 10 cubed. So log base 10 of 1,000 is 3. Again, it's the exponent you have to raise 10 to to get whatever number you have here. Or also, how about log base 10 of 0 0.1? Well, 0 0.1, that's 1 10 and that's 10 to the minus 1. So um, the answer is minus 1. So it could definitely be negative. And last but not least, how about log base 10 of 1? That's slightly trickier, but notice 1 is 10 to the what? Well, it's 10 to the 0. So in fact, log base 10 of 1 is 0. And you can already notice here, well, the range of the log is, um, what's called that? The range of log is all the numbers. You see, you could have negative numbers, 0, 2, 3, etc., etc. However, interestingly, what's the domain? Well, let's think about this. Um, could 10 to something be 0? Well, not really. 10 to something is always positive. So in fact, it turns out the domain of uh, log base 10 is all the positive numbers. And in fact, here's a nice picture of it. This is log base 10 of x. So for instance, we've seen that at 1 is 0. And then uh, you know, at 10, for instance, it's 1. At 100 two, etc., etc. So it grows very slowly. And sometimes if you know about earthquakes, that's kind of the scale that they use, the Richter Scala. And you know, when you hear magnitude 8 earthquake, it's way bigger than a magnitude 7 earthquake. Um, all right, so that's one thing you need to know. Uh, second of all, log has some very nice laws. So. So basically, first of all, log undoes whatever 10 to the something does. So 10 to the log base 10 of x, it turns out it's just x. And also, same thing here, uh, log base 10 of 10 to the x is also x. And this one makes a little bit sense because the question is, which power do you have to raise 10 to to get 10 to the x? Well, x, or in other words, 10 to the what is 10 to the x? Well, the answer is x. So that's one law. And then another couple of really nice laws are the following. So for instance, log base 10 of AB is just log base 10 of A plus log base 10 of B. So log kind of splits up uh, products. And similarly with fractions, so log base 10 of A over B, that's the difference. So log base 10 of A minus log base 10 of B. And in my opinion, the most important property to know is sort of the exponent property. So it turns out whenever you apply log base 10 to a to the b, 
the B comes out. Oh no, not the Bs. So it becomes B times log base 10 over A. All right, that's very good. And uh, here we did log base 10. It turns out the base doesn't matter. Like Megan Trainer says, it's all about the base. And turns out we could have just used any positive number here. Not a problem at all. Mm. Again, it has the same rules. The graph looks basically the same. But for instance, let me illustrate log base 2. So log base 2 of x is something. Same thing before we said 10 to the what is x. The only difference is 2 to the what is x. So for instance, what is uh, log base 2 of 8? Well, the question is 2 to the what is 8? Well, 8 is 2 cubed. So the answer is 3. You see, log base 2 of 8 is 3. Because you have to raise 2 to the third power to get 8. Or for instance, what is log base 2 of 1 over 16? Well, 2 to the what is 1 over 16? Well, 1 over 16 is uh, 1 over 2 to the 4th, which is 2 to the minus 4. And we get, therefore, the answer is minus 4. So again, just to really illustrate that the exponent doesn't matter, and you still have the same laws, like log base 2 of 2 to the x, that's just x, because, again, what power do you have to raise 2 to to get x? Well, the answer is x. And, um, okay, so as I said, the uh, base doesn't really matter, but there is one base that's particularly nice. It's a bit outside the scope of this course, but you'll understand it if you ever take calculus. Uh, there's something called ln, like ln degenerates, and ln of x is just log base e of x. So e is this wonderful number, the ex Euler's number, and uh, it has those nice properties. And the point is, the properties are exactly the same as uh, for uh, log base 2 or log base 10. So for instance, we still have ln of a, b. It's ln of a plus ln of b, or other things. Um, all right, and lastly, let me do the algebra exercise I promised. So let's try to solve for x in the following expression, 10 to the 3x minus 4 equals 2 to the x. Okay. Now, what's important to understand, log destroys exponents. So to figure out what x is, let's just apply log to it. And here the question is also which base to use. It does not matter. You can use log base 10, ln. It kind of just depends on what the question is asking you for. And that said, there is a nice simplification with log base 10. So let's apply that. So let's apply log base 10 to this question. I want to emphasize it doesn't really matter. So we have log base 10 equals 10 to the 3x minus 4 equals log base 10 of 2 to the x. Okay. And here let's illustrate, again, two nice properties. First of all, remember log base 10 undoes whatever 10 to the something does. So in particular, log base 10 of 10 to this thing is just whatever number you have here. So in other words, this whole thing just simplifies to 3x minus 4. And well, to figure out this property, notice again, log destroys exponents. So this x comes here. So we get x log base 10 of 2. 
All right, very good. Unfortunately, we can't really simplify this further, so we just leave it at that. However, let's uh, um, calculate, solve for x. So let's put all the x's on one side, all the other things on the other side. You know, like Adele says, hello from the other side. So 3x minus x times log base 10 of 2 equals 4, and then x times 3 minus log base 10 of 2 equals 4, and therefore x equals 4 over 3 minus log base 10 of 2. Okay. And all right, using my awesome calculator, I found it's roughly 1.48. So in other words, for x equals roughly 1.48, we have 10 to the, I think, uh, 3x minus 4 equals 2 to the x, roughly like that. So it's very neat. And I believe that's all you need to know about log. If there's anything I'm missing, just let me know. <laughs> all right, I hope you like this. And if you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.